opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. e6 creates an opening for the dark squared bishop and opens a new diagonal for the queen. d4 offers to trade the more important central d4 pawn for the c5 pawn in exchange for more control of the center and quick development. Cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 protects the e4 pawn and puts pressure on the d5 square. Nc6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on d4 and controls the e5 square. And db5 threatens an unpleasant check on d6. d6 controls the e5 and c5 squares and allows the light squared bishop to develop. bf4 develops the bishop toward the center and adds an attacker to the d6 pawn. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only good move. This adds pressure by pinning a knight. a6 kicks the knight off of the active b5 square. Na3 retreats the attacked knight, it will look for a new square on c2 after white plays c2 c3 or c2 c4. b5 gains space on the queen side and threatens to fork the knights with b5 b4. Nd5 places the knight on a center square and attacks the pinned f6 knight. b7 develops the bishop and prepares castling. bx f6 captures the knight, attacks the bishop and increases white's control over the d5 square. Bx f6 captures the bishop without doubling the f pawns and opens up the e7 square for black to use. c3 controls the d4 square and opens up the c2 square for the knight on a3. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. And c2 reroutes the knight back toward the center, most likely to the e3 square. Bg5 takes control of the c1 h6 diagonal and allows black to trade off the dark squared bishop if white places a knight on e3. A4 takes space on the queen side and attacks the b5 pawn. This is an equal trade. Takes back. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. This allows the knight to control more squares. Master Games. It is the last book move. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. It is a miss. Recaptures. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This overlooks a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a miss. The game was close to balanced but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. Takes back. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is best. White was better off, but now their position is winning. It is an inaccuracy. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is good. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a mistake. This threatens to create a passed pawn. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to create a passed pawn. It is a miss. Recaptures. 
It is best. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This makes a past pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is good. This misses an opportunity to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a mistake. Right on target. It is best. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is best. The past pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This pushes a past pawn. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is a mistake. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. White was better off, but now their position is winning. It is a mistake. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is excellent. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This forks multiple pieces. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is excellent. That was a free rook. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. It is best.